Hi, I'm Tom Daves with EXP Realty, and I'm here with Carrie Scher. It is so fun to be here at, at, at EXP Realty. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm glad that you came by, and I just wanted to share the market update with everyone. Um, what's happening in the current greater Sacramento area real estate market? Um, I get asked all of the time, wow, yeah. are we in a bubble? Are things gonna pop? Are they flatlining? What's really happening? Do you hear people chatting about the market? I do, as a matter of fact. People are concerned because you know maybe they've held off or they've been thinking about moving, and how do you ever pick the right time? What are you seeing right now? What is the EXP team seeing? Well, that's a great question. So the first thing that we do is we take a look, first of all, at the 30,000 foot level. Yeah. And real estate, real estate goes, as everyone, pretty much everyone knows, in a seven to a 10 year cycle. Mm -hmm. And we're definitely in the ninth inning of that cycle that we've had. Um, so things are definitely starting to crown. And then we also take a look at three things. There are three things that would cause a shift. Number one is, interest rates, and we are seeing the interest rates increase. And then number two is unemployment. Actually, Carrie, unemployment is pretty low right now. I know, it's like historically low. So how does that feed into it then? Well, and then the third part is the affordability factor. Mm. And when so when prices rise above what wages can support, then that's really a concern. So um, what does that mean to everyone? Yeah. So what we're really seeing right now is we are seeing an increase in inventory. More and more homes are on the market right now. Um, and we're also seeing um, a, de a decline in sales volumes. Mm -hmm. Sales are just a little bit slower right now. And as I mentioned, two reasons. Number one is it's seasonal. Things always slow down right. this time of year. And then it's cyclical. We're at the top of that seven to 10 year cycle. So. What that means to, if you're a buyer, right now, interest rates are still at a historic low. Yeah. I mean, I remember when there were um, 12, 16 percent. Oh my gosh, yeah, it's like, how could anyone ever afford a house back then? <laughs> this is I know. so good. I know, I think you could buy a hamburger at McDonald's for probably 29 <laughs> cents back then, right? Oh man. Um, so interest rates are still historic low. You can lock in a 30 year rate, so it's still a good time to buy. There's good inventory. If you're an investor, um, and if you have a non-performing uh, portfolio or something that's not performing for you, um, now would definitely be a good time to consider the sale um, of that particular investment property. Mm. And if you're a residential seller, now is also a good time to consider selling because as I mentioned, the market is crowning and we are starting to see um, a flattening of values and some of the statisticians, economists are saying that we may see uh, values flatline and even possibly decline as we go into the spring and the summer and the fall of next year. Because isn't, isn't the spring kind of the next wave when people start selling again? Right, absolutely. Historically, spring is when everyone wants to put their home on the market. You know, the flowers are blooming yeah. and the, the school is out, so everyone wants to go out and take a look at homes. One thing you have to remember, however, is there is more inventory um, and there are uh, more buyers at that time as well. So um, it's definitely something to keep in mind. And this is something your team is really keeping an eye on, right? Because I walk by and I see all of the folks that are on computers, they're talking to people on the phone and they're getting a sense of what's going on. Absolutely. We really want to keep our finger on the pulse so we can um, we can share that information with our clients and with our friends, what's really happening. And um, there's so many different places that we can go and we can research. We can go, you know, we go to Blomberg. We go to one of my uh, good friends is Ryan Lindquist. He has a great blog. Ryan well, Lindquist, the appraiser, <laughs> he is amazing. Oh, Love he's that awesome. Yeah. So we definitely keep our finger on the pulse and we uh, we watch it. But properties are selling. Uh, we just put three homes in escrow this week. Helped three buyers purchase a home. So. Um, right now is a great market. We'd love to help you. Just reach out. You can private message me. Um, we can give you a free evaluation on your home. Um, we can give you uh, information on current homes that are currently on the market, as well as properties that are not yet on the market. So uh, we'd love to help. Uh, thanks everyone for coming and attending today. 
And uh, I want to wish everyone happy holidays and a Merry Christmas. Absolutely. Have a great season, you guys, and thanks for watching.